Hi everyone, in this video I'll be installing Cache OS on a USB drive. I have some free space on my USB drive which I'll use for the install. According to the documentation, you'll need a minimum of 30 gigabytes or recommended of 50 gigabytes. So I have here my USB drive, it's 230 gigs and it's an SSD drive and there's 139 gigabytes free on it so I have enough space. So there's no need to delete anything on my USB drive. I'm just going to use the free space for Cache OS. So to get started, go to cacheos.org, go to download, and I'm going to download the desktop version. I'm going to use the direct link. Once downloaded, go to your downloads folder. I'm going to mount the ISO on the virtual drive. Go to properties of my H drive. I'm going to right click, I'm going to properties, and it's about 2.44 gigabytes or about 3 gigabytes in total. Next, I am going to create a new partition on my first drive here for Cache OS. I'm going to go into disk management. And on my main drive, disk 0, I'm going to make some space for Cache OS. I'm going to shrink my C drive, 3 gigabytes, shrink, and I'm going to create a new simple volume, next, next, next. The volume label will be for the Cache OS ISO, and the file system will be FAT32, next, finish. And I'm going to go to the H drive. And I'm going to copy everything, go to my E drive, I'm going to paste everything. All right, now I have the ISO ready on my E drive. Go back and I can unmount the ISO. Now your computer's BIOS should be able to detect the new partition, Cache ISO. If it doesn't, it may be because it doesn't see the partition as an EFI system partition, and you can change that by going into command prompt and going into disk part. So first, going back to disk management, and we see here it's just seen as a basic data partition. So we're going to have it be seen as an EFI system partition as well. I'm going to open up command prompt, run as administrator, go into disk part, list my disk, and it's going to be disk zero. List my partitions, and it's going to be the three gigabytes partition, which has Cache OS. So it's partition number five. And type in help set ID. And then scroll to the top. And where it says EFI system partition, we're going to copy the value in hex form. And we're going to set it paste and we see automatically it's been changed in disk management and now I'm going to reboot my computer and go into the BIOS. Once you're in your BIOS confirm that secure boot is disabled and under boot I have fast boot disabled and the boot mode select is UFI and under the boot options for your hard disk we see here that there's two options. One is for my Windows Boot Manager, and the second one is for UFI OS. And UFI OS is Cache OS ISO. And we can confirm that. We should go back into Windows, open up Command Prompt as Administrator, and type in BCD Edit space forward slash enum space firmware. And then we'll see here that UFI OS goes to the E drive, and we can see it's pointing to the EFI directory. So in my boot order for my hard disk, I have to make sure that UFI OS is first. So then it will boot into Cache OS and then save changes and exit. All right, it's booted into the ISO and you have Cache OS and Cache OS with NVIDIA closed source driver if you have an NVIDIA card. And here's the option for legacy hardware. And so for me, I'm just gonna pick the default Cache OS. All right, got the welcome screen. 
and I'm going to launch installer and it's asking for your bootloader so you can choose between Windows and Cache OS. Keep the default with Grub and the installer is going to start next and select your region next. Keyboard next. And then for partitions, I'm going to do manual partitioning next. And my storage device, I'm going to be selecting my USB drive. And I'm going to select the existing partition, which is data. And I'm going to hit edit to resize. And I'm going to change the size. I'm going to reduce it by about 38 gigs. So I'll put in 200,000. Hit OK. And now there's free space available. And now I'm going to create new partitions for Cache OS on my USB drive. First partition will be for the EFI partition. Be 512 megs, mount point, boot, slash EFI. I'm going to change the file system to FAT32. And put in the boot flag. OK. Create another partition. This will be 20 gigabytes. And the file system, I'm going to use ext4. And then the mount point slash home. OK. Go back to free space. And then I'm going to create the next partition. And I'm going to use the remaining space for slash. And of course, you can divvy up the space however you like with the remaining mount points. But for me, I'm going to use the remaining space for slash. And the file system will be ext4 as well. OK. Hit Next. And choose the desktop. I'm going to keep the default Plasma. Next. And ask if you want additional packages. I'm going to add Firefox. Next. And here put in your name, username, computer name, and password. And here I'm going to use the same password for the administrator account. Next. And here it's going to summarize everything it's going to do. And just confirming that it's going to be using my USB drive, SDB. And we see it's going to resize and it's going to create new partitions. Install. And here it's going to take a little bit of time depending on how fast your USB drive is. And you can go to the bottom right and click on the icon here and it'll show the logs. And the Pacman log comes up, it's the package manager log. Going to minimize. All right, it's completed the install. And before I restart, I'm just going to check the boot order. I'm going to open up a terminal. And I'm going to type in EFI boot manager. And according to the boot order, it's going to be 2, then 0, 5, 4, then 1. So it's going to boot 2 first, which is Cache OS. So it should boot into Cache OS first. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart and go into the BIOS just to confirm. So here's the boot order for my drives, and it's still having the Cache OS ISO booted first. And Cache OS is actually number three. So I have to change the boot order, so it's first option. And save changes and exit. All right, the grub menu comes up for Cache OS. But there is no Windows here, so I'm going to fix that. Go into Cache OS, log in, open up a terminal, I'm going to sudo in, put in a password, and I'm going to edit the Etsy default grub file. Go to the bottom and look for where it says grub disable OS prober. I'm going to remove the pound or the hash and then control X to exit, save, yes, and then keep the default, enter. And then type in OS Prober to probe for other OSs, in other words, for Windows. And we see here that it has found Windows. And now I'm going to create a new grub configuration file using grub make config dash O boot grub grub.cfg. All right, and we see here it's found in Windows Boot Manager and it's added it in. And now restart your computer. All right, it's rebooted and we see here the Windows Boot Manager. So I'm gonna select it. All right, it's booted into Windows. 
and just going to do some cleanup. So log in, open up disk management, and here's the three gigabytes partition, which has the Cache OS ISO, and it's no longer needed. So this can be removed. Now, as it's set up as a EFI system partition, if you try to right click and you see delete volume is grayed out. So we'll have to do it through disk part, open up command prompt as administrator, go into disk part, list my disk, select disk zero, list my partitions and select partition four. And then I'm gonna delete it. And we see it's removed in disk management and now I'm gonna extend my C drive. All right, C drive has extended. And we can see on my USB drive, here's the EFI partition for Cache OS, and here's my home partition, and here is slash. And there's my existing D drive here that has my data that I can still use. So that's it, that's how you can install Cache OS on a separate USB drive. I hope this video was useful, and I thank you for watching. Bye now.